Kookaburras, aka jolly old kings of the bush. The gum tree is their throne, or the fence, or the window ledge outside the kitchen. How you going? The best thing about a kookaburra is they'll laugh at whatever you say. Watch this. Why did the Aussie animal not get the job? He wasn't qualified for the position. <laughs> oh, you, you've heard that one before. Okay, they have big ass beaks. Once they grab something, they don't let go. Actually, wait a sec, the one on the right is a human. He's pretending to be a kookaburra. Gee, he looked like the real deal to me. Yeah, now nah, the proper kookaburra is never letting go. The big dodgy imposter will have to yield eventually. This one is like, oh, look at that, bloody sausage. I love me a juicy sausage for lunch. Why is the sausage connected to an arm? And why is the arm yelling and screaming? It's a bit off-putting when your lunch is so fresh it's screaming. But nah, she's buggered. She's saying, I'm gonna have to live with a kookaburra attached to me finger forever. <laughs> sure, sure, it's funny for now, but how will you do things like drive a car? or get a job, or maintain a long-term relationship. Have you thought about that stuff, Gemma? Here's another fierce tug of war between a kookaburra and a human. Actually, wait a sec, the one on the right is a kookaburra. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Have a listen. Come on. Uh, yeah, here's a human. Absolutely no laughing matter here. You just didn't know how grumpy these birds can sound, did ya? Oh wow, the human broke the meat. They have to go halvesies, 50-50. This one doesn't like it. She's like, what the fuck did you do that for? Yeah, off she goes to continue the good fight. In all sincerity, I envy kookaburras. They're so calm under pressure. Ow! Ah! This one is being bullied by a couple of willy wagtails, and it's fair fucking dinkum unperturbed. I mean, it is nonplussed, but its overarching demeanour is definitely nonchalant. Yeah, nah, it is far from vexed. If I was getting pecked in the head by willy wagtails, I would be vexed as fuck. Sorry, mate, what's that? You want to wind your window up. It's a bit nippy outside, is it? You need the heater on. Yeah, look, no can do. This is my territory. We can dance if we want to. We can leave your mates behind. Because your mates don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no mates of mine. Nah. Kookaburra doesn't give a shit. It is not a dance floor type of guy. It's like, what the hell is wrong with you, lorikeet? Have you ingested a fruity disco biscuit? Have you? You're tripping on bushberries? Go find a wombat to go night clubbing with. It's not my jam. Are you sure about that, bro? Huh? Huh? Who's that? Bloody lorikeets. Just ignore him. Ignore him. He'll fly away soon. Avoid eye contact. It's still got my finger, says Gemma. I continue to wonder how she plans to live a normal life with a kookaburra attached to her. Or she's creating a diversion. Overall, these Australian creatures are robust, stubborn, and less jovial than you think. In fact, if you put their laughing in slow-mo, they sound like psychos. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Yeah. Nah, yeah, cool birds. Bloody face, here it is. Here it is again. A big, massive, heartfelt thank you to all you legends supporting Childhood Cancer Awareness Month throughout September alongside yours truly. I'll give you an update in my next video in regards to how much money we've raised and how close we are to that 500 grand goal I set. Which, remember, if we get there, I'll shave me head bald. Two more campaign links are in the post description below or the comments on Facebook or the bio on Instagram. One is for young Jai. He is eight years old and fighting a brain tumour. He's almost completed 30 chemo treatments. Go Jai! His mum has also been through breast cancer herself. Please donate directly to his family via the link below. Also, say good day to Seb. He's 16 years old and has a 25 centimetre tumour in his leg. It is B-cell lymphoma. Seb's dad also passed away from bloody cancer in 2020. Please click the link below to donate directly to his mum, Diana. All money raised is going to make an immediate difference in the lives of these families, you legends. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. And yeah, the Fuck Cancer shirt still on sale. Go to aussiemanshop.com slash fuck cancer. That link is below or in the comments or the bio. And yeah, I think the money pot from shirts is over 20 grand now. So I'll distribute that across the different campaigns at the end of the month. But yeah, no, yeah, I'll give you a big update on money soon. Thanks to me merch team out there, by the way, in the warehouse. They're printing, they're fulfilling all of these, putting in some long hours. So yeah, everyone's kicking it in the dick. Cheers, guys. See ya.